Good evening. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. We are gathering this evening for virtual Vespers uh, out of an abundance of caution for the uh, increase in coronavirus cases. So glad you are joining us and please pray together with us. You are calling me sin and have mercy upon me. You are calling me sin and have mercy upon me. O God, call me sin and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fill us all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty you abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, in them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees, the high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth, the young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. A man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works and wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is the sea great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan, which you form to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. 
May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now oh, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan deacon, locum tenants of the diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you. glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We well, offer you incense to Christ our God, for us, we spiritual fragrance, receive it upon your heavenly altar, and send on upon us in return the grace of the Holy Spirit. In the fifth tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O oh Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you, hear me. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord, keep watch over the door of my lips, incline not my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds in company, with men who work iniquity, and let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike or rebuke me in kindness, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head, for my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. But when they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which when cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. 
But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God. In you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord. With my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me. No man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. You were like a lamb led to the slaughter, and over through the arrogance of the deceiver. Nailed to the cross, you sanctified the whole earth with your blood. Pierced with a lance, you commanded the flaming sword to turn aside. The entrance to paradise has been open to all, and fearlessly I partake of the tree of life. Wherefore, being saved by your passion, I cry out joyfully, Glory to your precious cross. By enduring death you delivered us from the ancient curse, bestowing upon us blessing and mighty mercy. For your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. In your desire to end the suffering and shame of man, you endured a shameful death, O Lord. You are the height of goodness, O my Savior. You are without guile, yet tasted gall and vinegar. Your side was pierced by a lance. Your blood has healed all our wounds, O Master. Wherefore we sing the praises of your glorious passion. We venerate the lance, the sponge, and the reed by which peace and great mercy have been granted to the world. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch let Israel hope on the Lord. How could the multitude of transgressors condemn you to the cross, when your mother who conceived you without seed beheld you hanging on the tree, she wept and said, how does the lawless assembly reward your goodness to them? My child, the joy of my heart, well beloved son, make haste to save those who in faith glorify your crucifixion. And according to the promise given me, save all those who from all generations shall magnify me. In the eighth tone, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. No father, Theodore, true to your name, the gift of God, you have given the gifts you receive beyond understanding to those who love you in faith. You increased your talent, O blessed one, and heard the voice of God calling you to his bridal chamber. O wondrous one, you live there now by the throne of the King of all. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. O Theodore, father of fathers, you brought a multitude of monastics to Christ, you were the godly cause of their salvation. You were enlightened with your teaching. You were revealed prophetically to be the mouth of the Lord. 
As you stand now before him, O wise one, ever remember us. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. O wise initiate of sacred mysteries, the abundant grace of the Spirit was poured forth in your mouth. From you a wellspring of teaching gushed forth, revealing you, O Theodore, to be a champion of true worship, a zealous bearer of the truth, a pillar and fortress of the Orthodox faith, and the most excellent example of the monastic life, O wise one. In the sixth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Again the annual memorial of the lights of the world has dawned. Minas, Victor, Stephanie, and Vincent, who by their contest for the cross of Christ, enlighten the hearts of the faithful. Therefore let us honor Christ our God with hymns, who has crowned them with glory and honor. In the fifth tone, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the sake of our salvation, you paid the greatest price. O Lord, you shed your blood for us. Your mother cried aloud, O my well-beloved son, it is your will to liberate us from Satan. For I know that you are the enlightenment of all mankind and the Savior of our souls. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of praise, O Son of God and Giver of life. Therefore, O Wisdom, let us attend the evening proclaim and honors in the first tone. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. Your mercy, O Lord, shall follow me all the days of my life. 
God, save, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord, for you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send of glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, O Lord. O Lord, our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your service and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, ye that loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fifth tone, Moses the prophet spread his arms in the form of a cross. Moses the prophet spread his arms in the form of a cross. And the forces of Amalek were destroyed. Now we have been given your own cross and we beseech you, O Lord. Strengthen your church and grant victory to Orthodox Christians over the enemy. For the sake of your great mercy, O lover of man. To you I lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of a servant look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he have mercy on us. Your cross, O Lord, appeared as mere wood to the earthly eye, but it has been arrayed with the power of your divinity. The ends of the universe shall feel its strength, for by it you have wrought the miracle of our salvation. Venerating it, we glorify you, O Savior. In the second tone, many are the tribulations of the righteous, and the Lord delivers them out of them all. Come, O oh, you who love the martyrs, let us honor their thrice radiant chorus. Meanest Victor, Stephanie, and Vincent, 
for they paid with their blood to purchase eternal life. They spoke out against the author of evil, saying, he will, We will not prefer corruptible things to incorruptible. We will not do battle for an earthly and mortal king, but we will fight for the living king, whoever cries to the faithful. He who believes in me, even if he dies, he shall live in the sixth tone glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit o venerable father the proclamation of your words has resounded to the ends of the earth therefore you found the reward of your labors in the heavens you destroyed the ranks of demons reaching the rank of angels whose life you imitated blamelessly since you have boldness before the lord pray for the peace of our souls in the fifth tone now and ever and unto ages of ages amen god the creator assuming my form was clothed in my flesh in his desire to rescue in me his fallen image he was lifted up of his own will on the cross as one guilty of sin of his own accord his hands were nailed healing the hands which sinned of old by eating of the tree when the all pure virgin beheld you she lamented your long suffering pierces my heart o my beloved son you hold the earth in the hollow of your hand yet are lifted upon the cross lord now let your servant depart in peace according to your word for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared before the face of all people a light to enlighten the gentiles and to be the glory of your people israel holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages amen most holy trinity have mercy on us lord cleanse us from our sins master pardon our transgressions holy one visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages amen o oh, blessed mean us your struggles have proved you a martyr of christ you were radiant with grace and shone forth and shone forth with healings for all together let us honor the athletes of christ memorable victor and noble vincent and with them let us praise stephanie for by their contest they destroy the enemy by their prayers o christ our god have mercy on our souls glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit O champion of orthodoxy, teacher of purity and true worship, enlightener of the universe and adornment of hierarchs, O all-wise Father, Theodore, your teachings have gleamed with light upon all things. Intercede before Christ our God to save our souls now and ever and unto ages of ages amen 
When the Theotokos beheld upon the cross the Lamb, the Shepherd, the Savior of the world, she cried tearfully from the depths of her heart, The world rejoices at the sight of its redemption, but my heart is a fire as I see your pain on the cross, which you accepted for the sake of all, O oh my Son and my God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Tecum, Locum, tenants of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox depart of this life before us, especially our former Metropolitan Theodosius, Francis, Paul, Evangelos, Anastasia, Louise, and who here and in all the world by asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, light, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, all those suffering for their Orthodox faith, all those lying on a bed of sickness and need of healing, especially our Archbishop David, the mitred Archpriest Michael, Matryoshka, Natasha, Anastasia, Macrina, Cynthia, Elizabeth, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, Anne Marie, Olga, Nona, Victoria, Mary, Holly, and Juliana, for those suffering from the coronavirus, Bishop Sava, Stephen, Madalena, Luca, and Lynn and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese, and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another, and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, Father blessed. Christ our God, the existing is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. 
Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos us more honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. With occupation you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-creating cross, of our holy glorious and a lot of apostles of the martyrs meanness of egypt victor at damascus vincent of spain and stephanie of spain and the servant of god theodore the confessor abbot of studium who we commemorate today of the holy and righteous ancestors of god joachim and anna and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us for he is good and loves mankind amen so, brothers and sisters, um, I believe the next time we will be celebrating uh, Vespers together virtually here will be Friday evening uh, at 5.30 uh, and also then Saturday evening at 5 o'clock. So, God bless and be with you. And please uh, remember one another in prayer in the coming days.